what's going on everyone and at this time in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can get and install more safari extensions on your iphone it's a simple process it uses app store but it's just not as straightforward as you would expect it so let's begin with it first of all what you need to do is to go to the settings yes go to the settings of your iphone and what you have to do is to scroll down to find the safari section it's somewhere in between the built-in apps and the settings for those apps so go ahead and tap on a safari and if you scroll down here as well you have some uh, preferred languages search options and settings in that category but if you scroll down a bit more you have the uh, general section and one of those is extensions also keep in mind that you need to have like at least one of the newer versions of ios it definitely doesn't work on something like ios 12 or whatever but anyways what you need to do is to click on extensions and there you have those extensions that are already installed if you don't have them it's okay but uh, you also have the button for more extensions now the way it works is that this when you click on it it will move you over to the app store and as you know on the app store you have all the apps which can be downloaded not really extension so if you want to get extension you need to download an app from the app store that allows you to have an extension so you'll still end up like downloading an app but only the one which has this kind of extensions that we want so in this section you can browse through all these apps so you have some paid paid ones free ones you can see for example it's paypal here but when i click on it it basically moves me over to the regular paypal app it's not just an extension it's an actual paypal app and this means that if you use paypal for anything else besides using it in uh, the safari as an extension what's going to happen when you install it is that it's also going to appear in your extension section in a safari but for me it is turned off that means that even if it's there, like it's going to appear there by default just by downloading the app in the first place, but you don't have to enable the extension in the Safari setting. So yeah, that's how it works. But yeah, there are also many different uh, like content blockers or Grammarly keyboard editor or password managers, some different things which you can like get for a Safari. It's kind of a new thing. People don't really like talk about it because on the iPhone, we did not have those things in the past. So it's kind of a new thing. But yeah, this is how you can uh, how you can use it. So at first, again, just download an app which offers a Safari extension, download it on the iPhone and then go to the settings of Safari on your iPhone and then enable it right there. So that's a simple way to do it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it because it really does help the channel. And also subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the future. Peace out.